If you look at the title of this video and wondered, why isn't he talking about another level 5 Esper? You're right. And also maybe wrong. I decided to switch my attention to what would be another level 5 video to a potential level 5 that couldn't quite make it to Crowley's list. And to be honest, there really are a few that could potentially break in if it wasn't for their minor nerfs or addictions. The one character that I decided to make a video about today seemed low-key OP and it was Takitsubo Riko's AIM Stalker ability. Hi, my name is Burai and I'll do my best to explain the science behind her Esper ability, as well as some theories that could have solidified her as a level 5. Before heading straight into the ability, let's talk a bit about the girl behind who could have been the 8th level 5 user. Bunny girl and ability body crystal crack abuser, Takitsubo Riko. Takitsubo is a member of one of the infamous dark underground organizations in Academy City, Item, led by the 4th level 5 Esper, Meltdowner. She's a support main in her team. She provides intel by tracking specific espers or informing the team if there's an esper user nearby. And eventually later on in the series, she's able to sense magic in some ways. She's able to do all of this using her unique esper ability, AIM Stalker. AIM Stalker is a passive ability that provides clairvoyance and remote tracking to the user. For what was explained throughout the series, as long as she remembers an esper's AIM diffusion field, she's able to track them down, quote unquote, even if they were to leave the solar system. She does this by gauging the distance and direction of the target, tracking anyone from a safe distance. Unlike the previous espers that I talked about, Takitsubo is a rare case, utilizing some of the real world science that we know with some science only found in the Index universe, that being AIM diffusion fields. The best way to discuss this is by using real world examples. For this, I'm going to be using a GPS tracker. So, a GPS works by providing information on the exact location of a certain object or person. The most common example of this is moving truck companies. These companies track the drivers, vehicles, and delivery using a GPS system. To make sure they don't confuse the vehicles, each tracker on the truck is unique, which means no two trucks have the same tracker. This is the same principle for AIM Stalker, replacing the satellite with Takitsubo and each unique tracker as an Esper user's AIM diffusion field. When Takitsubo goes into her tracking mode, she can locate these unique trackers. So, let's talk about AIM for a second. AIM, or an involuntary movement, is a unique but weak energy field that espers give off unconsciously. The best I can explain this is, what would happen if our DNA gave off energy and someone else could tell us apart based on these energy waves? Once these weak energy waves blend in with the environment, it starts to change form and develop into an aura that blends well with an esper's ability, called AIM Diffusion Field. An example of this is a pyrokinesis user exerting some kind of heat around them, a telekinesis user exerting some kind of pressure around them, or even electromasters releasing an electromagnetic field around them. Now, all in all, this is the extent of her abilities, but the overall series hints that there's more to Takitsubo's ability than just tracking espers. Mugino and Kakine both stated that if her abilities were to fully blossom, she could control other espers' abilities. The best way to describe this is that she can track and hack espers. There are a few instances in the anime where this hack ability worked, specifically in the World War III arc when a weakened Mugino couldn't use her meltdown or ability properly. Takitsubo hacked and enhanced Mugino's aim to save Hamazura from a deadly attack by the Academy City's powered suit with Kakine's Dark Matter ability. This isn't the maximum extent of her dot hack ability though. Researchers have figured out her potential and were able to simulate how powerful she really could be to the point where she could be the 8th level 5 esper in Academy City. Now, just like regular hacking, Takitsubo can pretty much do the same thing with other esper's abilities, rewrite an esper's personal reality, and change it as she sees fit. But what does this mean to an esper? Imagine being able to increase or decrease an esper's ability power freely, switch powers between different esper users, completely remove an esper's ability, or do everything that I just stated at once. Takitsubu could also ground Biribiri's powers and raise Satin's hidden Esper powers she could have developed and make her into a level 4. If she was able to reach peak bunny performance, she could even give an Esper another ability, making dual skill, which was thought to be a dream, become reality. Just imagine if Accelerator had vector manipulation and was an Electromaster. Even with the nerves he has now, he can fully recharge his choker and be at almost max power all the time. Again, her hack ability is nothing but a theory as of now, because if this were to happen further down in the light novel, it would cause a disruption to the power system that Academy City built. 
if Takitsubo were to reach this 9,000 power spike, Academy City could take advantage of this, and the power curriculum program would become obsolete. But what stopped her from getting to the top? Her rare potential. See, because this was a very rare ability, scientists and researchers knew it was going to be hard to have her bloom. So, they decided on a shortcut to try and cheat their way to a free level 5. And that, my students and viewers, is where the Ability Body Crystal Crack comes in. The Ability Body Crystal, or Crystallized Esper Essence, or Body Crystal, or Nectar, or my personal favorite nickname, Esper Crack, is a specialized kind of drug that is used to overload an Esper's ability temporarily, giving them an extreme boost in power level. Its initial form was that of a small red crystalline prism, with its form changing into a fine white powder. Unless it's a railgun anime, then it's a white chewable tablet. You could say this white powdered, stimulant kind of drug is kind of similar to another drug with somewhat similar characteristics. For Takitsubo, she got the enhanced, more refined Esper Crack, where in most media and anime, except railgun, she would have to lick the powder in order for her to go into hyper GPS mode. This does lead her to become heavily reliant on the Esper Crack to the point where her body was close to collapsing setting the events of the third protagonist of the series heading to Russia. Who knew doing so many drugs could destroy your body? Although she does get herself fixed, it's still unknown whether she still has the capacity to reach this peak form or not. The New Testament storyline does give her some time to shine and see bits and pieces of her abilities getting better, but I'd rather not spoil any of that information here. And that's the end of the video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I like making these kinds of videos. My upload skit isn't the best right now, but I do promise more videos like this to come. So again, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go do that down below. Smash the like button and leave a comment on what else you want me to try and break down for you. That's it for me. See you next time. Ciao!